Good morning. This is Auntie V about them facts. How you doing? Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I want to talk about fraud alert. This one is renters beware. Memphis woman, she done upped her money, out her money to somebody in Texas. Sad case, Main Street. Why y'all stealing? But listen, <laughs> Lord, why this lady go to uh, so social media like that, putting money on cards, cash apping and all that. Listen, these people on social media want your money, honey, sirs, everybody, beware. Facebook, IG, YouTube, for sure. Don't trust none of them. Okay. They selling dreams. I'm telling you. They they in your uh they hacking <laughs> from Streamyard. They fooling with cash apps. They using stolen credit cards. Yo money, you know, they got people in the background while you on their panels trying to tap into your information. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. So watch all of them. Can't be nice to none of them. None of them. They play dumb. Why they got people behind the scenes trying to steal your shh. Yeah. I'm sorry this happened to you, ma'am, but don't trust none of them. If they can't pull up, don't give them a dime. If they can't do for you, come to you, don't give them shit. Okay? And I hope you get your money back. I hope them... Feds go to wherever they are and get them. Just like I hope the feds get these people on YouTube. Hacking. Into people's information. And accounts. This lady lost over $3,000. Trusting somebody on Social media. Now she don't know where she going. She don't know where she living. She don't know nothing. Because she trusted somebody on social media with her money, with her livelihood. Y'all beware. This is, this is a rental scam. It's a whole bunch of different scams going on. You lose your mind. Trying to figure out everything these folk got going on. Because they ain't sorry as uck. And don't want to get a real job. This out of Cordova. That's supposed to be nice area in Memphis. They scared. But hey, but listen, this man is out of Texas. So... <laughs> yeah, Zell. <laughs> I'm ooh, ooh. Mm, 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 mm. These people scamming out all over the place. <laughs> they just, woo, baby, just take them to scam the wrong one. <laughs> YouTube pyramid schemes and shit. <laughs> yeah, I said it. You should have known better. Allen says that's when she called authorities and learned the property was owned by Main Street Renewal based in Texas. So it was the laugh that made you know something wasn't right. Your light bulb didn't go off before then. 
I can tell you when my light bulb went off for all that hacking. But I'm going to say that for a whole nother day. Fraud alert. And I hope you press charges. Because it's fed time. That mean they going to sit their ass in there for a long time. Ain't no good behavior for bad behavior. You want me to repeat that? Ain't no good behavior for bad behavior. Ain't no early release. Sit your monk ass in there and think about it. Press charges. Bless your heart. I'm sorry they milked you for your money. I hope they get justice. Press charges. Don't let them. Don't let them talk you out of it. You press charges. You milk them the way they milked you. That's what I'm on today. Do unto others. As they did unto you. Hello. I trust in him. Stop trusting folk who always play dumb. Like they don't know what's going on. And they know full and goddamn well. What's going on. If they don't. They need to change the business. That they trying to operate. They be knowing. They just be playing dumb. Or you play dumb right on with them. And go on down and press charges on them. Okay. Do unto others. As they did unto you. Okay. He has nowhere to go after she was scammed out of her dream home. Back to the message at hand. Let's go back to this one. Yeah. And after paying over $3,000 to the alleged property manager... He blocked her. This home on Crosswood Lane in Cordova is where Janice Allen saw hope in public. It was my dream home. After spotting the home on Facebook Marketplace in late June, the 60-year-old says she thought it would be a perfect place to live with her two daughters and two grandchildren. So she immediately contacted the alleged out-of-town property manager for a tour. We couldn't get the code. He go through the back door. Allen says the property manager sent her this approval letter that says she needed to pay a thousand dollar security deposit and a twenty two hundred dollar move in fee to secure her spot. According to the police report, he told her to send the money through Zelle. I inserted thirty two hundred dollars of all of my social security deposit. I called the number on the eighth to ask them do they have a wash and dry. He laughed at me and hung up. Allen says that's when she called authorities and learned the property was owned by Main Street Renewal. Don't even have your application. WREG discovered the company owns another home on the block. Outside was this fraud alert sign for renters. The company's website says it does not ask residents to transfer money via wire, gift cards, or payment apps. Unlike the terms listed here on Allen's leasing agreement. Seems like everything is gone. Because I trust him. To make matters worse, she says the new management of her current home is evicting her at the end of the week to renovate the property. I don't know where I'm going. You better go and file charges. I didn't mean to catch you like that, uh, baby girl, but that show is a pretty magenta lipstick. I just thought I'd give you little props. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, that magenta. I'm trying to catch the lighting so they can see that pretty lipstick. There, there we go. Make sure you hit the like button for me, okay? <laughs> yeah.